When evaluating a limit, such as the limit as x approaches 4 of the square root of x plus 5 minus 3 all over x minus 4, the first strategy that should be tried is direct substitution. Substituting a 4 for x yields the square root of 4 plus 5 minus 3 over 4 minus 4. 4 plus 5 is 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0, and in the denominator, 4 minus 4 is also 0. 0 over 0 is known as the indeterminate form. It doesn't tell us anything about what the limit actually is, but it does imply, it does imply that the limit exists. When dealing with a limit that involves a radical, a strategy that can be used to find that limit is a rationalization strategy. And in this problem, that would involve multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the radical expression. I'm going to multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the square root of x plus 5 minus 3, which is the square root of x plus 5 plus 3. I will be multiplying the numerator and denominator by this conjugate, in effect multiplying the limit by 1, not changing its value. When multiplying conjugates, when multiplying conjugates, all that one has to worry about is the product of the first terms and the product of the last terms. All other terms involved in the multiplication will add up to zero. In this case, the square root of x plus 5 times the square root of x plus 5, multiplying identical, identical square roots yields just x plus 5, and negative 3 times positive 3 is negative 9. When multiplying the denominators, if the rationalization technique is successful, multiplying out the denominators is not necessary. We can just write the denominator as the product of x minus 4 times the square root of x plus 5 plus 3. Combining like terms in the numerator, 5 minus 9 is negative 4. I have x minus 4 in the numerator and the product of x minus 4 and the square root of x plus 5 plus 3 in the denominator. And what's going to happen in here is that the quantities of x minus 4 will be able to be divided away, and I'm left with the limit as x approaches 4 of 1 over the square root of x plus 5 plus 3. At this point, I'll again try direct substitution. I'll substitute a 4 for x. And what happens now is I'm left with 1 over the square root of 4 plus 5 plus 3, which is 1 over the square root of 9 plus 3, which is equal to 1 over 3 plus 3, or 6. The limit as x approaches 4 of x plus of the square root of x plus 5 minus 3 all over x minus 4 is equal to 1 sixth.